19-year-old construction worker is dead after apparently being run over by a lift. This took place just before 9 o'clock this morning in the East Village. Eyewitnesses reporter Tom Negevin live at the scene with the very latest. Tom. David and Lauren just learning some new information from police sources here and from uh, eyewitnesses to this horrible tragedy. I'm going to step out of the way and give you a closer look at the scene. Newscopter 7 over this minutes after it happened. You see the cherry picker now up on that flatbed truck. That's what they were trying to do at the time of this. This was like 840 this morning. We've just learned from witnesses confirmed by police here at the scene that this was a father and son. The father driving the cherry picker through the busy intersection here at 1st and East 7th Street, uh, his son trying to guide him, 19 years old, when he was struck and killed by the vehicle his father was driving. A bit more from eyewitnesses who were here on the scene just minutes after it happened, even before first responders and police arrived. The father was on the, the father was a few steps away, go, just walking around like this just holding his head and just not probably being in shock, not really believing what happened. It was, it was horrible. And then the, the people that were trying to save him, they covered him up with something because there was no way that you could help him. Again, this is information we've been able to confirm just in the last few minutes that this was a father and son involved in this. The son, 19 years old, trying to guide his father through traffic here as they backed that cherry picker up onto the flatbed where you see it now. The father, 42 years old, is speaking to police but absolutely distraught, as you can imagine. An unthinkable tragedy unfolding here. No charges at this point. Police still talking to him and trying to put together exactly how this happened. But witnesses say they know. They say the son, rather than guiding the cherry picker, was actually trying to stop traffic through this busy intersection along First Avenue uh, so that his father could make it through, became distracted, and then was run down and killed. Uh, the investigation is still unfolding. We're getting more information from police and eyewitnesses here, and of course, we'll update you throughout the day. For now, live in the East Village, Tom Negevin.